high. So let's see whether it's working fine or not, or binary search re-implementation. So I'm going to create a BST, which is a new binary search tree. Let's insert some items. So insert, for example, the 10. It's going to be the root node. Then let's insert 5. It should be the left child of 10. Let's insert 15. It should be the right child of 10. Then let's insert, for example, 6. It should be the right child of 5. So we have the 10. The left child of 10 is 5. The right child of 10 is 15. And the right child of 5 is 6. What's going to be the, for example, BST dot uh, minimum value? Or sorry for that, get min value. Okay, it should yield 5. Let's see whether it's working fine. We have the bst.py. Okay, because it's Python. True. 5. Yeah, 5 is the minimum value. What's the maximum value? The maximum value should be 15. Okay, so let's save it and let's run the algorithm. Yeah, it's working fine. What's going to be the in-order traversal? it should yield the numerical ordering. So, Travers, I think. Yeah, Travers. And let's see whether it's working fine or not. 5, 6, 10, 15. It's working fine. What if we store, for example, characters? C, then A, then Z, then, for example, G, whatever. If we insert characters, then the in-order traversal yields the alphabetical ordering. Let's see. Yeah, A, C, G, Z. That's why Python is quite convenient, because you don't have to make it generic. If you implement it like this, you can use it for integers, doubles, custom objects, whatever. It's going to work just fine. So this is how we insert items, how we traverse a binary search tree, how we get the maximum and the minimum values. Thanks for watching.